Hey guys, hey, oh wow, I messed that one up. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is the start, well, technically not, but this is an overreaching week. Technically, I'm running, in terms of intensity, the first week of the peak week, but in terms of volume, this is definitely an overreaching week, and we'll talk about what that is in a second. Uh, here we have four plates loaded up on the bar. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys see how this moves. Uh, this is the first time I've loaded up four plates in almost, I think, a good two, three months. Now, that being said, that's besides when I just, sometimes I just load it up for the walkout. Uh, but yeah, this is the first time I've actually squatted with it in two, three months. As you can see, not the best, but definitely not the worst. We, we definitely have some room here. I think the seat, the the floor for this competition, especially considering that this is in an overreaching, is probably about 415, which is great news for myself. And this is with these knee sleeves. Now, today was the day that uh, I, tr I have insert knee sleeves. I tried to get them on, couldn't. I literally ruined my whole gym session for it. So, uh, you know, had to go home, fix it. I put them on some coke bottles and uh they're stretching now and honestly i'm recording this a bunch of days later today's friday i worked this out this was a workout on sunday and they're still on these coke bottles still stretching out probably gonna take them off tomorrow morning but yeah uh so far so good uh these squats have been pretty decent uh and today we're overreaching so the concept of overreaching is just that about a week or two this is a week or two time length before your peaking program and the idea is that because we're peaking and the volume is going to be dipping incredibly low and we know that and the intensity is going a lot higher the idea is that if you increase your volume you could increase the workload and hopefully have this kind of elastic effect where it's like you're kind of pulling this elastic down to build all this strength that's going to come into play like pretty much in two to three weeks kind of thing. Um, anyways, so for most of these, I literally do doubles with, I think it's whatever the weight's about to be. I don't exactly remember, but they were easy doubles. Uh, I did five sets of that. Okay, I didn't record any of it, but I did five sets of it and it moved pretty well. I'll say that um, a very low uh, effect on intensity at the moment, but I will say that uh, I did my deadlift day, right? Or not even the day after, but two days after, and my hammies were cramping and it did affect it. So when I record that one, you will see that. Here we have some bench. This is 250, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a little bit above the RP I was aiming for. Excuse me. I would say that's about a 7.5, kind of stroking my ego there, but probably an 8, realistically. 250 though, uh, I cannot be upset about it, because 250 is perfectly fine for this competition. Um, I would love to be aiming for like a 275, 280, but we will see what kind of strength we'll get. Um, and yeah, you know, you just kind of have to see what you have on the day of and how uh, less, the more intensity and the less volume kind of plays out in the programming. So we'll see how this goes. I'm fairly optimistic because I think my body's fairly tired because of the volume, but we shall see. I mean, you'll see if my RP9s look really good. We know it's going to be a good competition. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Peace.